let's face it. For people all around the world and for reasons I don't want to get into, 2020 has been a total shit show. Especially here in the good old US and A. But that doesn't mean there's nothing to celebrate. So here it is, 12 for 12's top 12 reasons to celebrate 2020. Number 12, starting strong. We started the year in discussions to produce more episodes of 12 for 12 with NBC Universal's LX Network. We just knew this was gonna be an exciting year. Number 11, no more business travel. As fears arose and quarantine encroached, we no longer had to travel thousands of miles to produce dumb commercials, lousy corporate videos, or shoot 12 for 12. Number 10, health. Finally slowing down and reprioritizing health, mentally and physically. To my therapist and all my favorite Peloton instructors, a sincere thank you. And if you're a Pelo hater, give it a try before you give it the finger. Number nine, wine, wine, wine. All the great wine, winemakers, and wine brands of the world, especially here in the Pacific Northwest. There's never been a better time to embrace the grape, anytime, night, or day. Number eight, my amazing team. My team at Echelon Design, 12 for 12's executive producers Reed Harmon and Josh Rush, our After 12 producers Adrian Rink and Allison Greenstein, and to all the truly great guests that shared their time and wisdom. Thank you. Number seven, nature. Exploring nature in the great outdoors, right outside the door. Number six, love. As our worlds got smaller, the important things got so much bigger. The love of family, friends, and daily connections means so much more. Number five, After 12. We produce 24 episodes of our After 12 podcast and talk to some truly fascinating makers across so many markets and industries. Check them all out on YouTube or at 12for12.com. Number four, pivoting. All the people, companies, and organizations that took risks and reinvented. This was the year to take a chance. I even helped launch a successful virtual event platform called Surreal. Check it out at surrealevents.com. Number three, frontline workers. All those who have bravely shouldered this pandemic. Doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, first responders, delivery drivers, supermarket staff, restaurant workers, liquor store clerks, drug dealers, all of you who showed up, stepped out, and are still kicking ass, thank you. Number two, science. The incredible scientific triumph of developing and distributing multiple mRNA-based vaccines in less than a year. Hats off to the scientists, researchers, physicians, and vaccine volunteers that made this a reality. And finally, number one, it's finally fucking over. Whatever way you look at it, 2020 is in the past and 2021 is here. With it comes new challenges, opportunities, and hopefully more 12 for 12. Until our next episode, thanks for tuning in, stay safe, and Happy New Year.